Hello again, YouTube. Truth Man here. So, listen, I want to kind of do a little more extensive video on the short that I just did. So, you go to work. If you're a police officer, fireman, correctional officer, anything that you do, do not share your personal beliefs, biases, opinions with no one. And I'm speaking from experience. See, what people do is they'll try to make you feel like it's okay to talk about it. But remember this about people. And I tell y'all this with the no matrix. People are most people. When you hear them say things like I'm not religious. Or this, this, this. Just understand this, that they may be one of those people that are looking for someone to hate. And when you start talking about you voting for Trump or you red pill or you religious, you believe in this, you believe in that. Just know that this world is being brainwashed into hatred. They're being brainwashed to, into narcissism. Let me give you an example. What they do, they want you to accept it. They act like you have to accept it. But the fact of the matter is, don't none of us got to accept each other. We all going to stand before God, whether you believe in them or not. That's why I don't believe in trying to evangelize. I did when I was younger in my faith and didn't understand until I start being taught by God himself that everybody knows about him. People just make their own choices. And this is why the church can't get nothing done because you got all these people in there that's not in agreement or not in agreement where they need to be in agreement to get stuff done. So when you go to these jobs like I had to learn this the hard way. Like I remember I got like all of, all of my coworkers turned on me because of things that I said religiously, like back in the, what was that? 2004. And I could think of like different, different stuff, right? Never talked about politics, but then a person would be like, oh, he voted for Trump. And so now you got this person hating me, this person, and, and you can see it. So this is why I'm telling you from experience, no matter what they tell you, don't believe them. Do not talk about this stuff. Don't talk about politics. Don't talk about religion. Don't talk about marriage. If you don't want to get married, you don't believe in marriage. Do not let nobody else know that. Don't let nobody else know that. Don't talk about that stuff with them. And then that way, if they target you, you'll have a lawsuit, you'll get paid. Because that's harassment. If you don't say nothing to them and they target you because they think you should think a certain way, that's money. Money in the bank. Just like the N-word. I don't talk about, and I throw race in there too. Who cares what white people do or think? Nothing against them, but who cares? If you calling me an N in my, your head, just keep it in your head. Or if you're going to do it, let's do it in an environment where I can cha-ching, cha-ching, get paid. Because I really don't care if you feel stronger by calling me that. Just do it when I can get paid, when I can go get a lawyer and get some money and buy my kids this, do this, buy this car, do it then. That I don't listen, man. And 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 always have a out from these jobs. Don't just work no job. Get other stuff going. Build your money up. So you if you are a no matrix person, you won't have to work in those environments for too long.
So do not, do not, do not, 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 not. And I'm not telling you nothing that I'm not going to practice, practice, excuse me, because I done got in trouble in the past myself. And to be honest, I've learned that sometimes you shouldn't care. And sometimes you should care more about the money that you're making than what people do and think and all this, all that. That's them. The, what I have a problem is when you start paying that, that money slow. Like people who, who pay, people who the check comes slow. That's the problem. I, I don't like that, man. You could pay me, pay me. But all that other stuff, man, I'm too, I got too much wisdom for that. I got too much wisdom for that. I'm not talking about this red pill, the manosphere, passport brothers, none of that stuff, none of the YouTube stuff at work. You know what I'm talking about at work? The job. You know what I'm talking about at work? Sports, shallow, shallow stuff. Because when you start getting deep, just know that these people, everybody's on different levels. And like the Bible say, rebuke a fool and they will hate you. Not talking about that stuff. Even, even, you know what's weird? Even food. You can't even, like these people nowadays, you can't even talk about food. If you like to eat and this other person is a health junkie, you can't even talk about food. Just stop talking to these people, man. Talk to the people you're in agreement with and tell them what we talk about is what we talk about. Because that don't happen too. Guys putting people in a conversation that's all touchy and stuff. That's what happened down there in Texas. Me and him having a conversation that we had been having for days. And he going to bring somebody else in it. And the ultimate thing that happened, I'm back in Wisconsin because of that person, kind of. I got evicted everything over that little conversation. Because it's like that person took a supervisor role and was literally trying to target me, target me, blame everything on me. As when I was when I knew how to defend myself, the other guy knew her for longer, so he took her side after a while. And that's the story I tell y'all about what to do. What you gonna do? Cause I told him, man, I'm done talking to you. I'm done playing these games with y'all. I'm just gonna start filing grievances. And he told me his voice raised up like a woman. He said, "Do what you gonna do?" Then he's sitting there staring at me. I'm covering up, trying not to laugh. I'm like this. Then he said it again. You can do whatever you got to do. And my whole body went up because I wasn't even mine no more. That was just too funny. But that's the only eviction I ever had because after a while, she just got so bad. I just had to remove myself. I had to remove myself because I got so mad at her one day that. I, I'm not stupid. When you get mad like that, man, just remove yourself. She literally tried to blame something on me that I didn't have nothing to do with. That's how they are on these jobs. That's why I'm telling you. Do not talk about no personal issue. Don't share your views on child support. Don't share your views on marriage. Don't share your views on religion. Don't share your views on politics. If they try to ask you who you voting for, just change the subject. If they ask you again, be like, man, I don't mean this in a bad way, but I don't like talking about that kind of stuff. Because then if you keep yourself 
superficial and shallow. It's okay. Don't act deep at work. Because you, when you mess your money up, they're going to still be there with their crazy self. And it happens all the time. You can't tell me it don't. I was thinking back one time when, you know, and I, I felt bad because I wish I would have knew this stuff a long time ago because my kids suffered at times because of these other people. What they do to young black men, white guys talking to you like, like trash, trying to run you off. Oh, yeah, it happens. Don't let them run you off. Just know that the dude is a coward and nine times out of ten he wouldn't be saying that stuff to you outside them door. So just ignore him or just do if he your boss, just do what he want. Do it to the best of your ability. Stack that money, though. Because don't get in no trouble on these jobs, man. These people is nuts, man. I'm telling you. So. Don't. Talk about it. Ever. Even them people you think cool with you. A lot of time you can't talk about it with them because they'll be cool with somebody that you ain't cool with. That's going to try to bring to light the things that you, you know, talk to them about. So be careful talking about any of this stuff, man. Let these people live their life and you live your. Now, when you start bringing that stuff that I don't believe in to my kids, now you finna get dealt with. I'm not dealing with that. I'm not. If my kids choose things that I know ain't right, they still my kids. But, hey, I'll tell them, this is my house. I'm not changing nothing I do or believe. If you don't like it, if you want to do this, that, go ahead. I'm going to still love you. I'm going to still be your father. But don't don't expect me to make compromises that I know the most high wouldn't want me to make because it ain't happening. I know people that their religion is, is, is pure baloney because you talking about people eating ham sandwiches, but you didn't address that issue with your kids. Your religion is doo-doo. So, yeah. Don't talk about that. Leave that alone, man. And if you know somebody don't like the Packers, even that, or don't like the sports team, don't even talk about sports with them. Because when they team lose them big games, they're going to be mad. Like when we had Cowboy fans, got beat by the Packers. I ain't say nothing. I was just hoping they could have beat the 49ers, but who keep it score? We'll, 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 we'll build up. And we'll get them soon with Jordan Love. Trust me when I tell you that. Jordan Love is going to get it done, man. I'm telling you. But anyway, thanks for watching. We got more videos to come. Stay tuned.